Well, it's definitely a different way of processing information. Their ability to process what they hear, what they see, touch, um, and also their emotional regulation is impacted. So things that might bother somebody else really might bother them. And then once they get anxious, it's hard to come down from that. It takes much longer to calm down. In addition to assessment, the districts really needed uh, more help in, okay, we know the student has autism, but we need help in knowing what to do to help the student and be successful at school. So then they developed the um, autism coaching team. And so I think part of my role is really helping educators understand that it's not always purposeful behavior. Most of the time, they're just trying to survive from day to day, and they're trying to figure out how to um, take all this information that's coming in and make sense of it. Has a new person at the top of the page. Yeah. <laughs> now, um, a good, team. It's a good day for the team is when we have been out to meet with an educational team um, and we give them some ideas and then we go back for our second meeting. So it's usually about four to six weeks after our first meeting and they tell us that they've tried some of the strategies and that they've worked and they're excited about it and they want more new ideas. That, uh, that's very exciting for us because we really love it when things work for them and they get excited about trying more things. 